What's up guys, today Apple released iOS 11.0.2. Continued improvements are happening to iOS 11. It was a mess upon release and now it's slowly getting better. So what can we expect in this update? What has changed? And this is to all devices. It's a fairly small update actually. So actually in the change log, Apple has laid it out all there. This is everything in this update. So first off, for anyone with the new iPhone 8 or iPhone 8 Plus devices, this will fix the crackling issue from the earpiece during phone calls. I personally have not experienced this, but I have heard from people that have, so that will fix that. It addresses an issue that could cause some photos to become hidden for whatever reason in the photos application. It fixes an issue where attachments in S slash MIME encrypted emails would not open. So all around great updates, bug fixes here and there. And uh, yeah, that's what you can expect from this one. I've been digging through it. I couldn't really find any actually changed settings or tabs or icons or anything. That's probably reserved for iOS 11. And iOS 11.1 beta 2, unfortunately, did not come out today. That's what I expected to be released. Instead, it was this firmware. So go ahead and update if you are on iOS 11. I mean, there's really nothing to hold you back from doing that because bug fixes all around. There is still a slight lag to the 3D touch uh, that you don't really get on other firmwares for whatever reason it's here. Hopefully Apple can fix that in the future version of 11.1, but uh, there it is features wise. Uh, let's go ahead and see speed. And before I get into that, and I actually wanted to mention a feature I forgot to mention that was changed in iOS 11.0.1. So actually in the control center, when you would swipe down really, really quick on one of these bars, they would actually just slide down like that. Now in iOS 11.1, that's been fixed. So you can slide really fast on those bars and they will not go down. Uh, in the brightness or the volume. It was a really annoying bug. Apple did patch that in 11.0.1. .1, so not a new change to this one specifically, but a nice and welcome one. And I'm sure there are some other smaller hidden stuff in here that we cannot really see, uh, but that will take time to tell. Anyways, let's go ahead and see the Geekbench results. So I have one on 11.0 on this device. This is the 8 Plus. Let's go ahead and see on the latest 11.0.2. And I don't expect much to be different here. 11.1 .1 is a significant update, so that's where all the changes will be. And wow, this is actually the highest Geekbench score I've seen so far on the iPhone 8 Plus. 10,498 multi, that is just insane, and a 4,251 single core score. So compared to the one on iOS 11.0, that's quite a difference there on the multi-core score. So uh, there it is, guys, iOS 11.0.2. Definitely updates, you're gonna get some nice bug fixes in there, could be some more hidden under the cover stuff like battery life that Apple hasn't really told us about, but it's been pretty good for me on my 8 Plus personally. So there it is, hope you guys enjoy this mini update. Stay tuned for more and future iOS 11.1 betas. Peace.